Yes, guys. As you can see, done in the Donny badge. Got my first little session in. I was along with the sports uh, science coach. Got in a form of bleep test. They were really impressed with my scores, which is good, which I'm pleased about. But with the amount of work I've been putting in, it, it's only right. Feel good, feel sharp. It feels so good to put on the training kit again. Oh. The deal's not signed yet, but just coming here to the training ground, meeting a couple of the boys, meeting the gaffer, sitting down, talking to him about how he sees me, how, how it's been going, just football talk. It's just, it's just a blessing, you know. When you're outside of the game for, for a period of time, when you come back in, it um, makes you appreciate it. So yeah, by God's grace, we get this deal across the line and I start training with the boys and then we go from there. So today is a positive day. Yes, guys, morning. So today, guys, I've got training with Doncaster again. Haven't signed a deal yet. I'm waiting to finalise the terms on the contract, but still got to um, go in get, and do my fitness work. The last two sessions, um, done really well. They've been impressing my fitness. My body fat came back really, really low. I think it was something like 6 or 7%, which is great. Today, I've got more fitness work, sharper, shorter distances, and hopefully the contract will get finalised today. So um, it's about an hour and 10 away from my house. Um, the training ground in Doncaster, so just getting my breakfast ready. Make peanut butter and dates. Great replacement for jam. Really got into tea recently. Um, I don't know if you say mulein or mulein, mulein tea leaf. I used to have a real sweet tooth. Um, having teas and hot drinks in general have curbed that unbelievably. Into the mug, there you go, Shan. Have uh, a splodge of Caribbean sea moss. It's a really good thing this is. And I'll leave that tea bag in there. I'll let it just soak. Breakfast done. Peanut butter with dates, cheese, butter and tomatoes. Bish bosh bosh. Got my tea. Let's go. Finally made it to Doncaster. Drive wasn't too bad. Played some beautiful worship music. Spent some time in prayer, talking to the Lord. Just thanking him for my life, for my, for my family, for this opportunity. You know, when I'm driving, I'm just thinking like, a week ago, two weeks ago, I was trying to get motivated, not get motivated, but trying to keep up the motivation to keep running, keep training by myself, to keep pressing, knowing that breakthrough would come. And so to just be, you know, on the way to training ground in the morning, knowing you're going to be out playing possession with the boys. Oh, man, I'm very grateful anyway. Very, very grateful. So they received me really well here. People have been friendly. You know, the um, the board in trying to get this deal done, they've been they've been fantastic. Obviously now, because of the COVID season, clubs, especially in this league, have been hit hard. Um, so um, the contract won't be, you know, something that um, I was expecting. However, I really, really like this club. I really, really want to work for this manager and help this club, you know, get promoted to the championship. So finances cannot be um, a stumbling block. They can't. Um, I really want to play. And like I said, this whole reason for me being in England is for, for my family. Sometimes you've got to take a hit. I'm more than happy to do so. The deal's not done yet. The team actually play against West Ham tomorrow in the in the FA Cup. And there's talks about me being involved for that. But I've not even signed a deal yet, so I don't know how that's going to happen. Because I've not been with a team for so long, they estimated that I'm like 21 days behind the rest of the squad in terms of fitness. I don't think I'm 21 days away, but listen, when you're not used to getting the loads in on your legs, the kind of movements the players are doing day in and day out, I mean... Teams in this division play Tuesday, Saturday, and they give me like a schedule for the next for the next couple of weeks. Um, yesterday I was a floater. That means <laughs> that's not in the toilet. And I saw you are thinking about stuff. A floater is basically a magic man, <laughs> where uh, you're not playing for this team or that team. You're in the middle. So whatever team has the ball, you play with that team. And that's like everyone loves being a magic man because you don't have to defend. So yesterday I was a magic man. Loved that. Let you guys know very soon. Um, if there's any news, so gonna get the session in now, guys. I'll catch you guys soon. Absolutely blowing. Whoosh. Would you take a look at this? I uh, yeah, finished my training session with the group today. Small side of games and some shape work with the team. And when they did their set pieces for the game tomorrow, I went and did my my blow work. Just in the gym now. Gonna get a good session in. RDLs, Russian deadlifts, um, single leg squats squat thrusts, all that kind of stuff, Copenhagen's, all this stuff might sound quite foreign to a lot of you, but 
sure some of you know what it is, just leg work, strengthening um, the key key parts of the legs that are used to kick footballs around. So I wish the boys all the best for the game tomorrow. Hopefully they can come back with a result. Because if I'm correct, if they beat West Ham in the fourth round, it's Man United or Liverpool in the next round. So I would love to be played against those kind of teams. You guys have been following my journey, so you'll know I was training in the park not long ago. So to be possibly playing against the likes of Man United and, and Liverpool would be fantastic. Let's get it. <laughs>
this club, my career. I surrender my talent, my family. I surrender it all to you, Lord. Would you have your way? Every good and perfect gift comes from you, Lord. And I recognize that this is a gift from you. I recognize that you're in control. So I trust you. Would you have your way? I look to you for you, the author and finisher of my faith. I'm excited, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Just going through this medical. 29 years old, body of a 19 year old. Yeah. The main man, the legend cops. Oh, okay. And here's a real legend, Mary. Here she is, I'm Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. All signed. Absolutely delighted to get the deal signed. Now for the famous shirt holding pick. It's a nice kit though, you know. It's not bad. I like it. I like, like it. it. What what number? I've seen both of my numbers are three. Go on. Seven and eight. Fifteen and eight. Fifteen and eight. I love fifteen. Yeah, I, as Mary <laughs> said, we can use eight. Say it again. As Mary said, we can use it. Because uh, oh, okay, uh, fine. Because then you were This bad no, boy. Like, this is XL. That's it. I can get you a smaller size if you want. No, no, no. <laughs> Shut up. Hey. <laughs> Come on, over. <laughs> number eight and number fifteen is three. It's a tough one, but 15 is my number. I'm gonna stick with 15. It's tough. I've been tempted to take the number eight, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go for 15. Finished session with the team. Good blow today. Good solid work in the legs. Buzzing to finally have signed the contract. And so I'm gonna do some gym now and head home. Celebrate with my wife. We move. Praise God. game again I just want to take this time just to thank people who've helped me really really helped me um, over the last four months of my training partner TK Thomas Kemp you know he drove an hour three times a week to come and train with me to put put me from my paces um, really helped me just to go into that red zone I didn't feel like it so big thank you to my boy TK for helping me to get prepared mentally and physically for this West Bridgeford Colts biggest Sunday league team in England he let me use their facilities and when lockdown hit and there was no more power league to use or places I could train on, they let, they opened up their gates to me, gave me the padlock combination for their facilities so I can go and train. So thank you to Tim and his team, thank you so much. I want to thank the team at the Fitness Collective in Nottingham, my gym, um, Nick, Joe, Chris, the team over there. Um, they had me training next to 65 year old lovely ladies but even in the midst of training next to them, as a professional athlete, they still have been working hard and pushing and blowing to be fair. So obviously my agents working behind the scenes, um, big up them. But also in fact, my wife, sometimes she didn't know what to say. You know, it was tough, but she's just reminded me um, that God's in control throughout it all. And she kept just thanking me for the fact that I've canceled my contract in Toulouse to come back and be with the family. 
So that was massive. Um, thank my mother-in-law as well. Gigi, who was a huge, huge blessing, um, kept believing in me, kept encouraging me, kept championing me. Look, behind every success or every breakthrough, there's so many factors, so many encouragers, so many people who really helped to make this happen. So I'm really, I'm really grateful. Obviously, you guys don't know these people, but for me, it's key that I, I give them, you know, props because it's not just my determination that got me here. There are people backing me and, and, and supporting me. So I encourage you to lean on the people around you. You know, no man is an island. I want to thank also Ballers in God. This ministry, this family of Christian players, the way that these guys have prayed for me, encouraged me, called me, kept me going, asked me in my training, kept, oh man, there's six or seven players in the English Ballers in God group that didn't have clubs um, whilst I didn't have clubs so been out, been out of um, football for a while and we would send videos of, of each other running um, training you know we'd be honest when we we're feeling down etc and I just want to thank the leaders my boys my brothers ballers in God this ministry has changed my life I know God started it through me but honestly these young guns on fire for Jesus the way that they've encouraged me has been unbelievable so thank you to all the ballers in God who kept encouraging me, praying for me, because I would not be here without you guys. Also want to thank my church, Christian Life Fellowship, and New Streams Online Church for your prayers, for your support. Uh, I love you guys, man. Ultimately, Jesus gets all the glory. I've signed a deal for 18 months. But at the end of the 18 months, there's an option to extend that contract. I'm back in the game, ready to kick ball again. Game day. Breakfast. Toast, peanut butter with dates. Got pre-match at 11.40, it's now nine o'clock. Just gonna get this into my system. Cup of Rosie Lee. <sighs> Breakfast, two hours ago. Chilled, bit of family time, soccer AM. Read the Bible, got showered. That's after pre-match. Salmon, protein, carbs, rice, broccoli, coleslaw, bit of lemon, because I'm married to a Greek. Fuel for the game. Finally, it is happening to me. Buzzy's back in the game and I just cannot hide it. Saturday, three o'clock kickoff en route to my first game of Doncaster Rovers. I'm driving to Doncaster now. Um, I just drove past the pitches that uh, I was training in or training at over the last few months. And just humbled really. I remember telling you guys some of the videos that Saturdays, were some of the hardest days for me to train on because you know that your peers, ex-teammates are getting ready for for matches. And so now I'm on my way to my game and so so excited. Got my my Donny Tracky on. Man's man's Donny the Donny Tracky out here. Johnny and Donny. Hey! hey. Uh, you can see I'm excited. Like, I've had a good start to the day. We got Oxford, Oxford United. Apparently they're they're on form. They've been winning a lot of games. So have we, you know, whatever role I'm going to play. Um, I'm starting from the bench today, I believe. And so hopefully I get some minutes um, to come on and help the team. So, and I can't wait to get this show on the road. I remember as a young player, I would get so nervous before games, thinking, oh, will I play well today? Oh, will, my, oh, will I affect the game? Will I, will I, will I, will I, will I. <sighs> so exhausting. Worry never gives you a return for your investment. The Bible says, what can worry add to your life? Nothing. So you have to attack the things that are ahead of you through joy. That's how I do life. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And um, I'm excited today to go and play. But the boys will look good in training this week. Really good. Hopefully we'll start firing out the blocks today um, and, and play our football. Looking forward to seeing my shirt in the dressing room. Even more looking forward to putting it on. Just reached the Keep Moat Stadium. Here with Top Shooter, man like ah, Faye, Top go. Shooter. Game day, yeah. let's go. Oh. The new gaff. What do you think about the Crips today, guys? Having these Jordans, Jordan 1s? Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Beautiful. Let's get it. Start on the bench. Hopefully come on and make a difference. Come on the boys. Three points, on to the next one. Jason Lokilo, Elliot Samoyes, my dogs, my youngers, my youngers. <laughs> yes guys, so there we have it. Boss Dogs back, I came on for the last, I think I came on like 80, 80, 80 fifth minute, but there was seven minutes extra time. And I came on as a, as a force, as a force nine up top, which was, um, which, which was, which was good, you know, obviously I had fresh legs. The boys put in a tremendous shift today. Um, the game finished three, two. Um, they play good football Oxford to be fair We didn't really get going in the first half Second half we came out sharp Scored two early goals Kind of took the game away from them But um, they, they made a couple subs And threatened, made it 3-2 And then um, tried to see out the game So it's great to be involved in match days again Of course I'm more than a player But there's something um, about being back in Doing the thing that you love most So three points, on to the next one Back to see the family now Enjoying my nice evening Takeaway night I think it is on Saturday evenings. So yeah, guys, keep watching this space. Thank you for following the journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. But thank you for joining me. First match day for Doncaster Rovers. Many more to come. Take care, guys. God bless.